You are listening to Win on KZKO. Check them out every Monday from 4 to 5 p.m. Mountain Time. Only on KZKO The Vibe. Covering all conversation from dating to getting revenge on your exes. This is Talking Points with Shabazz Davis on World Improv Network. Ah, good evening. Good evening. And welcome to Talking Points with Shabazz Davis. My name is Jerome Carmichael, filling in for Shabazz tonight, who's busy getting his mid-digital hair braided. You're going to be looking spiffy, Shabazz. Now, now, yeah, thank you. Um, We here on planet Earth are dealing with a lot of existential questions, dealing with our impact as humans on the planet itself, And often people wonder, how long can humans actually last? Where most civilizations have an evolutionary lifetime of 80 million years before they go extinct by natural causes. But what about us as humans? Will our knowledge be able to uh, persist our race for longer? Well, to answer that question, we have Taylor Swift here with us tonight. Taylor, welcome to the show. Hi, y'all. Yeah, I'm going to break it down. Oh, well, that's uh, that's just what we needed. And uh, because uh, you are uh, actually an expert on civilization and life. That's right. I, I'm mostly known for my musical career, but mm. uh, there's a lot more to me than just my... My, my lyrics and my voice. And now, so what, uh, Miss Swift, what is your thesis statement about how long we as a civilization will survive here on Earth? Uh, the length of time that, uh, the human race will be around on planet Earth has a direct correlation to, uh, how hot the sun is. Hmm. So. Uh, do you, do you have math to back this up or is this, uh, do you have a number, maybe a number of years or, or a temperature at which we are doomed? Um, well, uh, yes. Yes, I do. Could you care? Oh, okay. Well, the equations are quite lengthy and there are a lot of variables, uh, and I'm still working out, uh, a precise answer, but oh, I can course. provide a range. Okay. Uh, and that is from 10 to 10,000 years. Wow. Um, so coming up quick. Maybe. Uh, or, or maybe not. Well. It depends on our actions, though, here on Earth. Mm. Uh, actions as in, um, what, like, what actions accelerate this process? Uh, uh if we were to start uh sending trash into the sun mm-hmm. that would be like uh putting logs on a fire mm. so that's something that we should look into and that's something we're not doing yeah, yes so the sun is now cooling at a possibly catastrophic rate uh that's right that's right and that has to do with entropy mm. uh you see the universe is constantly expanding Everything is getting further away from each other, and we can tell that because of uh, our ability to measure light from other stars. Mm. Okay? Yeah. And uh, as the sun gets further from planet Earth as well, uh, the uh, uh, rate of rotation of the planet begins to slow down, and mm. that means that the uh, the core, all right, the magma core of the Earth is also cooling down. Oh, so it uh, yeah. and so the Earth is getting colder now as things spread out. You know. uh, yes, now now that is a controversial opinion that um, you have had. You have been dealing with via mixtape um, with noted uh, rapper rap producer Suge Knight. Uh, now welcome to the welcome to the program, Suge. Yeah, yeah, what's going on out there? I just made my $25 million bail, so I just want to say thank you, America, for believing in me and giving me my crowdsourcing funding to make bail. That's good looking now. Thanks, y'all. Oh, well, uh, thank you. This is not the venue 
for self-aggrandization and, and promotion, all right? this We're talking about humanity and mm. civilization as we know it. And uh, your petty concerns and uh, ego inflation are okay. Okay. You yep. want to talk about humanity right now down the barrel of a gun? Uh, um, I, uh, Mr. Mr. I did Knight, not realize uh, this was the kind of interview uh, and discussion I was signing up for. Uh, Mr. Knight, this is um, this is talking points. Uh, we're just here to talk. Um, I fully respect your right to uh, to thank. Uh, everyone who helped you, uh, post, post bond. Um, I do not agree with Miss Swift on that point. Um, I'm just glad you're here. Well, yeah, yeah, you better say that because otherwise I'm gonna hang you upside down like I did Vanilla Ice and you can try to do your interview that way upside down while the drool comes out of your nose. <laughs> well, um, I would like to, uh, um, audience, uh, Please don't support that. Get a hold of your audience. That yeah. is the first aspect of performance ship. Well, excuse me for not having the charisma of a multi-million dollar selling artist, Miss Swift. Now, can I give you a piece of advice right now? Please shake it off. Oh. Yeah, I can do shake that. it uh, off. I can do that for her. Oh. I can do that, Taylor. I can hang him upside down right now. Okay, no one will be hanging upside down. No one will be hanging upside down. This is talking points. We are here to address a serious scientific debate. Mr. Knight, Ms. Swift, can we proceed with some decorum and respect, please? Can we get our emotions in check? What are you talking about your decorum here, man? It looks all right. Ain't no big thing. Okay. Can we can Thank we you. cool down a little bit? Can we cool our core temperature, yeah. Mr. Shabazz? Yeah, Shabazz. No, let's call Michael. It's Jerome. Shabazz is gone because he's a scrub yes, fitting I, in for him. Well, I'm you may as well be Shabazz. Tonight. I mean, the guy's never here, right? Yeah, he's never here. Well, Mr. Uh, Mr. Napier has a lot going on in his life. He has a lot of personal projects he needs to take care of. Who's Mr. Napier? Shabazz Napier. Oh, that's his middle name, Napier. It's, it's Shabazz Napier Davis. Yeah, I follow him on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yeah, Mr. Napier, he's a good friend of mine. He's a homie of mine. Matter of fact, he was there when I was uh, kind of getting an altercation that, that put me on this this whole $25 million bond issue. Then again, thank you, America, for helping me out, you know, and getting out of out of prison. That's good looking out. Would you just cut that out? Cut it out. I'm sorry, Taylor. Yeah. But what anyway, do you have no. to offer on, on this discussion? When when do you think civilization is going to end? And what can we do to extend uh, the human race's lifespan? Well, Should I, I, I believe in track five of his response mixtape to you of Earth Gonna Last. Um, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Knight, but you predicted that the Earth had at least 50 million more years in it. Yeah, that's right, because I, I, it's mathematical, you know what I'm saying? It's called Earth's Gonna Last Even If I Continue to Blast. So mm. I figured out, mathematically, it will take me 50 million years to shoot everybody on the planet in order to become extinct. Mm. I guess oh. that makes sense. I mean, procreation and whatnot, you'd have to... One man with a gun, you know, and I only got 15 in the clip, so add it up, we got 7 million people. I mean, if you had, like, a Gallarhorn or something, like, you could, that would accelerate. Well, who, they, who ain't got a Gallarhorn? Everybody got a Gallarhorn in Destiny. I've had three of them already, you know, and I've only been playing for a couple of weeks, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, every time I've played it, I, like, okay, I, I get one. Yeah, well, I even go to the secret Loch Ness chamber or whatever oh, it's called. Yeah, but. Jerome, you ought to see T Swift. That's her gamer tag. Man, she's bomb on the raids in Destiny, man. And the way she pulls that trigger on the Gallahorn, it's better than the way I can shoot anybody on the streets of LA. Well, that that must be nice. Some of us aren't lucky enough to get a Gallahorn, despite the tens of thousands of hours that we play the game. Hey, um Mr. Carmichael, is, is your game a tag J Carmichael? Uh, yes, yes it is. Oh man, I I played with you last week, and why don't you have your Gallahorn? It shows how many Glimmer cards you have. You have three thousand four hundred. That's more than anybody I see, which means you put at least five, six, seven thousand mm -hmm. hours into that. Uh, yes, uh, I have just uh, it's it's never dropped, and I haven't gotten one. Um, I'll talk to Bungie but, about that. You want me to go to Bungie with a gun, my gat loaded? No, I, I, that's I, your answer to everything. Yes, uh, I I don't need violence involved in this mr knight um yeah i i have to agree with miss swift on this one that 
some things can't be solved with violence. Man, I ne- I never seen it no other way. If I ain't shooting somebody in, on the streets in real life, I'm shooting them online in destiny. You mm. know what I'm saying? So how is that possible? And T T Swift over here, she played with me almost every night. So I know she blasting, which means she's probably blasting on the streets too. And no, in a fictional world I am, but you know, Destiny you get to you know reboot and restart and respawn. Well, Taylor, you know, I never knew that because when we was talking on the headphone and doing raids and stuff and doing the crucible, you know, you never say that during the daytime you're doing nothing but singing and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I thought you were shooting people like me. Well, I can tell you to one thing that can't respawn, and that's the Earth. And what we've found out today is that there are no answers as to why I haven't gotten a Gallahorn or when the Earth will perish ten and all ten. of humanity with it. Ten to ten thousand years. Or well, 50 million. We don't know. Well, Taylor, but, if you if you help me out on my cause here, we can cut it down right away to 25 million if you get a gap, too. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, why are we trying to end it quicker? Because yeah. you're saying that the earth is going to come to an end, so I figure I'd jump on board with you. And you're such have... a nihilist. What? Forget it. All right. Um, thank you. Thank you both for joining us for this incredibly unproductive debate. Good night, America. Give the Windcast your suggestions via Facebook, Twitter, or the KZKO Wind Blog during the commercial break of what issues the Wind Counselors can help you with during Good, Bad, Ugly. Next on KZKO. You are listening to Win on KZKO. Check them out every Monday from 4 to 5 p.m. Mountain Time. Only on KZKO.